Hey y'all, it's your girl Lynn. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, please subscribe, like, and comment on today's video. Okay y'all, so as you can see, this is my car. Her name is J-Lo. Um, this is, look at this new one. Wonderful. But anyways, on today's video, I'm going to do a uh, car tour. So come along with me. So this is my car. I'm just gonna do a whole full 360 on my car real quick. Hold on. I'm gonna do a full 360. Like I said, her name is J-Lo. Um, I got my car and it's a little dirty on the side. That stuff was hard to get off. Um, like I said, uh, I got her in April of 2022 and that, I'm going to talk about that in a second. But yeah, so of course, this is the front of my car. Like I said, it's S60. Um, my mom made me put plates on the front of my bumper and it really messed my bumper up so i honestly have to get a whole new bumper i'm planning on getting a whole new bumper and a whole new hood anyways but that's another story for another day um like i said i am in the middle of modifying my car um little by little day by day piece by piece um so far i have modified the wheels these are um wheels that i got from texas tire in texas um they're staggered so the back ones are bigger than the front ones um and then i also got my wicker bill like 80 bucks I believe I would have to try and find the link again and put it down below um, my car is a 2020 SXT um, Dodge Challenger and I'll just start on this side since I'm already on the passenger side it's just like any other normal car um, but one thing I do love about my car is that our doors are down here at the bottom and it's totally different from any other car that I know honestly and I honestly love it so here on the passenger side I did clean my car off for you guys um, it's just a regular smuggler excuse me my purse and then also to get in the back seat you just lift that and then you also can just push that bottom up right there and then here's also the back of my car um, when I got my car someone literally burnt the hole in my car I guess the person that previously had it was like smoking or something so I just put duct tape there because who just gonna pay attention to it anyways because it's my car oh well um and then I'm just gonna go back on this side I really love my car because it's literally all blacked out like my whole entire car is blacked out I also have I think I have double tint on my back windows um but my regular windows are obviously legal because I have gotten in trouble for those before um and then also here on the driver's side of my car um same thing door handle and stuff like that um this is what you're gonna see when you're in the driver's seat um we do have sport mode one thing i love about challengers is that every challenger has a sport mode whether it's the xxt um sxt plus gt rt um all the above and then this is my screen it is smaller than the sxt plus i did want the sxt plus but they didn't have any at the time that i was getting my car so the dash is a little bit smaller but i'm perfectly fine with it um here are the buttons down here of course sport all that stuff and then also one thing i do love about dodge is that i be cold and then half the time when i'm cold my passengers be um hot so we're able to switch it so on my side i'm able to have a code on their side they're able to have hot and vice versa and stuff like that and then up here is where i'll keep my glasses these are like my old lady glasses but i do wear those because i am blind not really but really i am blind and then of course you have the whatever this is called the mirror hey guys and then my stanley is down here i always keep that there and then also here's another good look at the back i'm also just gonna turn these lights on because the lights do come on just like that and then let me get out real quick and show you guys um and then on the driver's side the driver's side is the only side that's actually automatic um push up pull down whatever and then unfortunately my seat is very messed up so um i don't know how it happened but i need a new motor for my seat so it only goes front and backwards and then it goes down my seat does not go up so i literally had to 
Um, one of my home guys in Tennessee has literally taped my whole entire seat out and manually pushed it all the way up, you know, because I'm short. I'm five foot three. Um, I think I said that in my Q&A as well. So I have to keep that up at all times. So can't nobody else really drive my car if they're taller than me unless they just want their knees squished. So this side over here, give me one second. So this right here is very tragic to my heart because like I said, my car is my baby. My car is everything to me. I worked hard for my car. I do everything for my car. I pay everything by myself for my car. So it really hurt me to my heart that my car got hit. But um, unfortunately, one of those Ford Mustangs, no offense to you Mustang guys, no offense, because the car community is a car community, but he hit me and did a hit and run and he didn't say anything. I mean, I wouldn't have been mad at him. I just would have, it would have been great for him to like, tell me that he hit me. But he hit me and then sped off. I didn't think nothing of it because I didn't feel it. I didn't feel him hit me or nothing like that. So once I got home and I was parking my car in the garage and I was like, hmm, what's that? What's on my car? I don't remember that being there when I got in my car because it's on the driver's side. So obviously I, I'm gonna see it. But um, I'm not mad about it. I mean, it is what it is. As long as I'm able to still have my car and still get from point A to point B with my car, I'm perfectly fine with it. Um, unfortunately, the way he hit me, let me show you guys. So it's the driver panel and then also, sorry, the rear bumper. So I have to get both of those replaced um, and then on top of that, when I got my car as well, let me show y'all all this bundle on my car. When I got my car, I never knew that my car was in a huge accident or anything like that. They didn't tell me anything like that. They pretty much just rushed me um, to get my vehicle. And I feel like that's one of the main things that I messed up on on my part. Just being a young person, um, just trying to get a car just because I liked it and how much it is. But if you're going to get a car, I just, I truly ask that you look up the car facts and everything that's happened to your car because you truly never know until something happened like me. So this is bundled all the way down off in there. So when I went, I went to Mako, make Mako, however you say, I went to them. They were one of the cheapest people that I decided to go with and they're going to do it for... 1700 um but also they said if i bring my own bumper then they'll also discount it for me so that's not really bad um but yeah so i have to get all that fixed they said they have to sand it down if they can but they won't really know anything until they actually take the car apart and stuff like that um but yeah so this is my car guys this is my little car tour for now um i don't have anything in my car um other than just what came with it look at the lights I love the lights on my car. But yeah, so that's just my car tour for my vehicle. Um, if you have any questions or any like concerns or anything, if you wanted to get a vehicle like this, I'm always open to questions with you guys. Um, let me get my key out my purse so I don't lock myself out my car. But yeah, so this is my little car tour. Um, tour, not tour, talk Dang. Hold on. Car tour. There we go. Um, <coughs> that's my little book. <coughs> Hold on. Um, sorry about that. Also, y'all, when I was driving on the highway, can y'all see that? It goes all the way down. I was so hurt on that too. Like, I don't know what's up with me and my look of my car, but I'm gonna I'm hold it down. I'm gonna hold it down so I can't hold it down no more. But I'm also gonna get that fixed as well. But I mean, every car has their ups and downs, so it's not gonna be perfect all the time, anyways. Um, let me show y'all my favorite part of my car, real quick. I can on my car but not all at one time because everything's not gonna happen at one time anyways um, I'm
I'm just taking my time. I think the next thing I'm going to do, I also want to do an um, engine swap. I know a lot comes with the engine swap. Not only just the swaps, but the coils and spark plugs and stuff like that. So I want to do that. But I want to go ahead and get the little stuff out the way first before I decide to do that. So I was thinking about, obviously, I am going to order a new bumper for my car, a new back bumper for my car. Um, I wanted to put the, I think it's called RDG or RGD lights in my cars, like that change colors. I wanted to do that eventually as well. Um, possibly even change my hood to demon hood or something. Not demon, maybe. No, hold on. Demon? Maybe an RT hood, something like that. But my car is, is this. This is J-Lo. This is my car. Her name is J-Lo. Um, I love her to death, even though sometimes she gives me H-E double L. But um, that's that's my car tour for now. Um, I'm going to also order some stuff on uh, Amazon. I'm going to order some stuff on Amazon for the inside of my car. Um, I'm also going to change the seats in my car as well. Can y'all guess what color I'm going to change it to? If so, just, just put your guess in the comment on which, but I'm gonna change my um, car seats too. So I'm gonna change that. And then also, I love my black on black, but I am trying to um, figure out if I'm gonna continue to keep my black on black or if I wanna wrap my car. If I do wrap my car, what color do you think I should do for wrapping my car? But this is my car tour. This is J-Lo, the car that we've all been waiting for. I love my car to death, y'all. And yeah, this view is just, so amazing i'm not gonna lie to you but anyways thank you guys for watching on today's video um continue to stay tuned for the next video if you haven't please subscribe like and comment to my youtube channel y'all have a great rest of your day